Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy a web application from Visual Studio Code to an Azure app service. Step one, of course, is you want to have a, a, a web application created, and I've created a real simple one here. This one happens to be written in Node, but it doesn't really matter. What I'm going to show you is applicable to any language supported by Azure app services like C Sharp or Java or Python or Node, whatever. Um, I'll just show you this thing npm start will actually start the application running locally and then I can uh, open up a browser here and navigate to localhost 3000 this happens to be running on port 3000 and there it is my simple application it just outputs some HTML right there so there it is running locally I'll hit control C to stop it like that and now I want to deploy it. I want to deploy it to Azure. Uh, I will need an extension here. So if I go over here to extensions, then I'm going to search for Azure app service right here. I want this one right here, the one that is from Microsoft. I've already got it installed. That's why it says uninstall here. But if you don't have it installed, it'll say install. You can click the button, walk through the wizard. It takes about 60 seconds and you'll have that extension available to you. And you will have this icon right here in your left toolbar. Um, this is for Azure, all your Azure things. I happen to have a lot of subscriptions. You probably don't have nearly as many as I do, but you want to make sure you do select the correct subscription. And underneath, you'll select App Services and expand that. Here I can see App Services that are already created. And what I want to do is to right click on this and say Create a New Web App. Now I can do it here, and this will just ask me a couple of questions It'll be really fast, but I'll have less flexibility. What I want to do is do the advanced one. It'll ask me a few more questions so I have more flexibility. In fact, it'll ask me six questions. It tells me right here. So the first thing I want to do is create a uh, web app and give it the name of the web app, and that name must be globally unique. No other app service can have picked it. I'm going to choose Gcast Web App. Looks like that one's available. And then I can select a resource group that's available, or I can create a brand new resource group like this, and I'll call it Gcast Web App RG. All right, that's fine. I select the runtime stack. Is it a .NET application or a Python or PHP or Ruby? This happens to be a Node app, so I'm going to take the most recent one. And do I want to run it on Windows or Linux? They're both supported. I'll select Linux right here. And where do I want to deploy this to? You probably want to think about where your users will be, or maybe if there's other access, uh, other uh, resources that it's accessing, you want it to be close to that. Anyway, you want to think about the latency of what who's connecting to this application and what this application is connecting to. I'll just grab East US. I happen to be in the United States. And uh, app service plan, I'm going to create a brand new one here. Again, I'll call it Gcast Web App. App service. How about that plan? I'm not sure if that's too long. Let's see. That's fine. And then the pricing tier, um, there's a free one. Uh, there's a development test and there's a production one. Uh, these get more expensive as we get a little higher. Obviously, free is the cheapest one. I'm going to go with develop and test because this is just a demo. And then uh, finally, uh, if I want to use application insights for this one, I don't really need application insights, but if I wanted to, I could create one there. I'm going to skip that for right now. I can always go back later on and add application insights. In fact, I can go back and change a lot of these things later on by going into the portal and modify it. What this is going to do is just going to create the app service for me, along with anything that's associated and required by like a resource group. And the, the, um, if I selected application insights, it would create that. So it'll take a minute to do that. And now it is done. And it has created this web app, but it didn't deploy my code yet. I can deploy my code by clicking on this button right here, deploy like this. And now it's going to ask me some more questions. Where, which code do I want to deploy? Deploy from which folder? So I can pick right now, here is where it is, but I really want below that. I want to do this one right here, the folder right below that. I'll select that. And it asked me, hey, do you want to always deploy to this? Maybe I want to make updates and always deploy to the same app service. Right now I'm going to say 
skip for now. I'm not going to commit to that right now and let it go. And then I have a message here. It says it's just deploying everything. It's going to take all the files that are required, not not everything, not all the source code, but those files that are required in order for an application to run in Azure. So all the binaries, maybe all of the HTML and the views, things like that. And that'll take a minute, so we'll wait for that. While I'm waiting, I can actually look at the output window over here. See what's happening. Right here, and it'll show. Things as they're happening, it's just now starting the deployment. So I'll pause the video and come back when this is finished. All right, about two minutes pass and everything was deployed. And I've got this confirmation message right here where I can look at the logs or click on browse website to actually go out to the web and retrieve it. You can see it's at gcastweb.azurewebsites.net. It'll start everything up. And what I should see when this thing starts up is the same web application that I saw when it ran locally. And there it is. It's running out on the web under Azure. I can also see it here in the portal. If I go to app services, then I can see there it is Gcast web app right here, and I can take a look at it and make any changes that I need to through this interface. And finally, if I go back to Visual Studio Code and refresh this, you'll see the Gcast web app also appears here as well. And there are some things that I can change here as well. In this video, I've shown you how to take a web application that was created in Visual Studio Code and use VS Code to deploy that application to an app service in Azure. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.